from, is a visual orchestral masterpiece, as we the audience watches the ever-building terrifyingly dark crescendo reaching its climax. As we wait and watch for the conductor to drop the next tantalizing clue of what this show is really about. And with every new episode that is released a little bit more is understood about this world, and one of those clues that I'm going to address is a question I had, about why are their clothes so pristine. In this video I'm going to go over a theory to explain this enigma about their clothing. So, grab your coins and follow me to the nearest laundromat so to speak, and let's find out why their clothes are always so clean. To begin with, let me give you the definition of pristine, pristine means clean and fresh as if new, spotless, in its original condition, unspoiled. There are two parts to this definition that we'll break down starting with the first part clean and fresh. You may be asking what's the big deal about their clothes being clean, well let me explain, there is a scientific method behind the madness. Because it could signify something fantastically new about the creatures, and could lead to the prospect of us discovering a hidden ability they may have, which is always a good thing. So, let's start with their clothes being clean. To begin with clothes generally can't stay clean indefinitely, that is because of the environment we live in, clothes can become dirty from any number of countless ways. One of those ways clothes become filthy is from our own bodies, yep. According to kidshealth.org every minute of the day we lose about 30,000 to 40,000 dead skin cells off the surface of our skin. So, that means while you are watching this video you've probably lost about 200,000 skin cells. Amazing. And that's just one of the ways our own body can mess our wardrobe up. There are countless other factors that come into play when it comes to getting close dirty, and according to an expert from the Whirlpool Institute of Fabric Science. There are two possibilities for the clothes to become dirty. 1. When you wear clothes for several days in an environment where there is a sizable amount of dust, pollution and dirt. 2. When you wear it and something accidentally falls on it, like ink, grease or any other kinds of matter that can dirty your clothes. It goes on to state usually clothing becomes dirty 8 to 12 hours generally after leaving the wash. Which brings us back to the creatures, and maybe a hidden ability they could have. This possibility could explain how their clothes can remain that clean while in the environment they seem to frequent, i.e. the forest. The odds of their clothes remaining relatively clean without obvious stains on them in some capacity is remote. Let me put it this way, say you had a friend and this friend was wearing a white outfit and they were going out to eat, but they weren't going out to just anywhere to eat, they were heading to a buffet. This buffet served a particular type of food, hot wings, hot wings drench in red hot sauce. This buffet offered no utensils and no napkins, so your friend had to eat with their bare hands. Now, the odds of your friend coming out of that buffet without any sort of speck of sauce or material on that white outfit are remote, possible, but remote, and that's under those control conditions. Back to the creatures. The creatures are wearing pure white milkman outfits and white wedding dresses, walking around the forest all night, in an environment known for being damp, wet, and dirty, the odds that someone could make it through that dirt-filled gauntlet with an unscathed outfit that remains pristine, is remote at best. Now we're going to address the second part of the definition of what it means to be pristine. The second part says in its original condition, unspoiled. To be honest I don't know if their outfits are in original condition. But what I do know is the condition of their outfits is far from tattered. There is no obvious signs of wear or tear on any of their outfits that I can see which is extremely odd considering the fact that the clothes they're wearing like wedding dresses are usually made with delicate and fragile pieces of material. So, this brings us back to the question, why do their clothes remain pristine? The possible answer I theorized comes from their shapeshifting physiology. I will elaborate, okay. From what we know about the creatures they are able to shapeshift to some degree. This shapeshifting skill allows them to elongate their hands, fingernails, dislocate their jaw and stretch it abnormally wide, one of the most oddly amazing part of their shapeshifting physiology is their ability to lose their hair at will, and grow it back instantly as fast, I believe this part could be connected to why their clothes never seem to wear out or get dirty, let me explain. To understand a possible reasoning for their clothes resistance, I believe we have to examine one of nature's strangest insects, that would be a bug called Javanese the leaf insect or Philium gigantium, Javanese the leaf insect makes its home in Malaysia. These leaf-shaped insects are hard to spot when they're sitting in a tree. They look just like the oak and guava leaves that they eat, right down to the brown leaf edges. 
Such a clever disguise helps these animals hide from predators. This leaf insect even sways back and forth when the wind blows just like real leaves. I believe the creatures act in a similar way as these leaf insects, in particular when it comes to the creature's clothes, what I mean is just like the leaf on the bug's body looks like a separate real leaf, it is not, but, I believe it could be possible that the creature's clothes are part of their body, in the same way the leaf-like structure is part of the insect's body. The leaf is a imitation of a leaf, just like the clothes could be a imitation of real clothes, this fits also into the overall behavior of the creatures, they seem to be a creature based on stealth, based on cunning, based on deception, and manipulation. So, this would make sense that their clothes is also part of their deceptive appearance, their camouflage. This would also help explain why their clothes never really get dirty, look worn or disheveled. Because just like the leaf on the bug body will never turn brown or wither, so the same with the creature's garments. Just like the leaf bug disguise helps these animals hide from predators. I believe their clothes helps the predators hide from their prey. So guys, tell me what you think about the possibility of the creature's clothes being part of their bodies. Leave your comments below, and as always thanks for watching.